My name is Zachary Taufik. I'm a staff scientist tenured in the Synapse Biology Unit from Professor Yukiko Goda. Originally, I am trained in biochemistry and molecular biology. But in recent years, I became a neuroscientist because I wanted to find the molecular cause of all brain disease. The problem we're trying to solve is the neuropsychiatric disorders. These diseases do not kill the patients, but the patient is disabled for many years and impossible to work or to have a normal life. There are two major challenges. Uh, one is for the clinical doctors because it takes a very long time uh, for them to diagnose a patient. It can take, for example, between three months and 20 years uh, using their tools which relies mainly on, on observing patient's behaviors. The second challenge is for the pharmaceutical company. For them, it's very difficult to develop a successful drug against brain disease. For example, there was a 99% failure rate of drug development for Alzheimer's disease in the last 20 years. I think we did not realize just how patients' different uh, molecular causes are, actually. Even for the same group of patients who have the same disease, for example, schizophrenia, they might have completely different causes. Our solution is a technology that we call personalized synapse proteomics. The human brain is composed of billions of neurons that are in turn connected by trillions of synapses. These synapses are actually the brain supercomputers because they are controlling, um, they are storing, they are processing all the information that flows between neural networks. From the blood of living patients, we are recreating neurons in the laboratory. Then we are purifying their synapses and study the protein composition using proteomics technology. With all the gathered data, we are using artificial intelligence to interpret our new information. Compared to existing technologies such as DNA tests or a blood uh, proteomics tests, our technology is the only one who can access a brain synapse molecular information from living patients. What we have achieved so far, uh, thanks to the proof of concept program uh, of OIST, is two major steps. The first step is the demonstration of personalized synapse proteomics using samples coming from two persons. One is a schizophrenia and the second is the healthy sibling. And we have been able to show their difference in synaptic proteome uh, between schizophrenia and healthy. The second step is that then we expand the, in the pilot experiment using more sample. This time, we use 12 schizophrenia data sets uh, and 10 healthy data sets to train an artificial intelligence algorithm to be able to recognize schizophrenia from healthy individuals. And we successfully achieved the second steps and proved that a small number of patients we can stratify as schizophrenia patients. What we hope to achieve in the near future is the complete validation of the technology uh, using evidently more sample, but also opening collaboration, looking for collaboration with hospital clinicians and pharmaceutical companies who are developing brain disease drugs. In the end, personalized synapse proteomics should be able to provide the necessary information to support the development of the next generation personalized therapies for psychiatric disorders.